Hi there, I'm broadcasting from inside the virtual reality software called Nanome, uh, inside of a Oculus Quest 2, um, and this is mind-blowing for me, this is like shattering my reality, um, pretty amazing, so thank you Nanome for um, making this happen, and letting me cooperate with you guys. Um, so, let's get started. Let's grab an LSD molecule, there it is, right in front of your face. So. If we take this LSD molecule, okay, this is uh, the most common lysergamide out there. Um, we can take the molecule, we can grab it with our hands, we can make it bigger, make it as big as you want, as big as your house. You can make it smaller, hence the name nanome. So LSD is quite an interesting molecule. It binds to serotonin 2A receptor um, to cause a psychedelic experience. But in fact, there are lots of other lysergamides uh, with a similar uh, structure as LSD, like this one. Um, and some of those other LSD analogs you guys might be aware of are compounds like alad and ethylad. So let's grab an alad molecule and kind of compare the two. Okay. So let's put that in the right orientation so we can kind of see it better. So I've got LSD on my left hand side over here, and I've got uh, Alad on my right hand side over here. If you guys, you know, you should be able to um, look at the structures and see what the what the major difference between these two structures are. And in fact, there's one major difference in the structure. So LSD on my left hand side has a uh, CH3 coming off this nitrogen. Right, whereas um, Alad has a well, you know, an extra carbon, but the extra carbon is um, an alkene, right? So you guys may have heard of this compound. It um, it binds to serotonin two A receptors, but the experience is probably slightly uh, different, I would imagine. And the third type of um, analog or compound that's structurally similar to this. Okay, let's just put our compounds here. Here and the other one is uh, ethylad. Let's grab that. There it is. There's ethylad. And you know, ethylad and um, alad are actually two very similar structures. Let's 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 throw away LSD so we can just have focus on alad and ethylad. So alad and ethylad are very similar compounds. I have uh, ethylad in my right hand, and I have um, owl out of my left hand. So the major difference is we can actually kind of superimpose these compounds. We can just kind of, you know, put one of these compounds over the other, like so. And there's not much of a major difference in these compounds. The only difference is instead of, uh, you know, so right here you've got a, a carbon connected to a, um, CH2, which is a al alkene. And this is just a straight chain alkane. So it's got an ethyl group. This um, has a CH2 coming off of it as an um, al alkene. Interestingly enough, um, the biggest difference between a, um, these two compounds, if you know a little bit of chemistry, is actually the distance between the bonds. So uh, this right here, this, um, what is this, a CH, CH2 bond, because it has a double bond, the bond length should actually be shorter, theoretically, than just a uh, CH2, CH3, which is this compound right here. So let's take a look at that. Let's, uh, let's measure those bond distances. So if we go to here, we can do measure, we can actually measure atomic distances. So I'm going to measure from this atom to this atom, and that's measuring at 1.31 angstroms. I I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but that's coming up as 1.31 angstrom. So theoretically, this bond length should be shorter than this one. Let's see what, let's find out. Let's see what the bond distance is here. Distance from here to here. That's 1.52 angstrom. So yeah, in fact, you know, the bond length between the um, CH2, CH2, CH2 is 1.52 angstroms in, um, in ethylad. And alad, that bond length is, uh, you know, 1.31 angstroms because there's, a, um, there's an alkene there which has a double bond. So the bond length is a little bit reduced. So this is my first nanome video. It's probably not the greatest, but as I work with the software, I hope to get better at using it because it is really nice for, you know, teaching 
about pharmacology and chemistry and especially, you know, with me focusing on psychedelics. Till then, uh, I hope you guys um, keep learning and stay curious. Bye-bye.